Hello everyone, your favorite night out here, out in this unfortunately sunny day, for a quick walk and talk on my video series currently ongoing of Perspectives, of which this is going to be the first video in that line. My apologies for the delay in uploads, this is due to the various video projects I have ongoing, including this one. Fantastic! Like, share, and subscribe. Check out the link below to my Subscribestar account, which is under DSR Verulven Pack. Help a small creator out. Just a $2 monthly donation. Fantastic. Alrighty then. Let's get on with it, shall we? This is part of the Perspectives Project, which will be going into the various perspectives found in society, including my own. My own philosophy of use when it comes to life, if you will. Of which, today's topic will be idealist versus realist. And where I stand, which is in the middle. Now, as in the purest sense, idealists view things from a purely idealistic standpoint. Like an island in the middle of an ocean. It stands still and expects the water to flow around it. That surmises the idealist standpoint. They view things from their ideal state of being and nothing else. Everything outside of which must be rejected, regardless of what the information is. This is due to the fact that idealists can rarely accept outside points of view if that outside point of view does the unfortunate thing of saying they're wrong, or might even simply suggest they may have an incorrect point of view. Realists, on the other hand, are their opposites. They base themselves purely out of what is. While the idealist, on the other hand, as previously stated, views things as they wish them to be, and nothing else. Realists have an unfortunate downside to them. It is as they base their entire perspective upon what is, they're not always the most pleasant crowd to be around. Although, this can differ from realist to realist, depending on how they perceive the information at hand. Something someone might see as negative, might not be seen as negative to another person. Alright. There's also the fact at hand that, one's perspective being one's point of view, information can be seen under different lights. For example, an idealist might see something as a threat to their point of view. However, another idealist of the same perspective might not see it as a threat to their point of view. However, this is particularly rare, as idealists tend to see anything that can be seen as a critique of their beliefs as an inherent negative. That's one thing most people share in common, though. They do not perceive very well anything that could cast anything they do as a negative, which is quite unfortunate. It really is. They cannot generally accept when something they do leads to a wrong. You can see this type time and time again. You implement a policy under course driven by your beliefs. The policy doesn't do what you originally think it is, so idealists are particularly notorious for it, but they will essentially blame everything but their policy and themselves. Essentially, it's always someone else's fault. Well, realists tend to have the unfortunate fact in their character, in my personal experience, of essentially they will, if the circumstances did not permit their plan coming to fruition, they will just simply abandon said plan. As they'll throw up their hands and say, well, I guess since that did not work, it was never meant to work. Although there's all kinds of alternatives, and to that, a realist might come to. Which is quite unfortunate. As realists, as they are grounded in what is, are not always the best for producing policy, especially new policy. If there's a problem in society, 
while a realist might decide it's time to try something new, they're just as likely to decide that because this is the way things are, this is the way things were meant to be. That has limited progress in the past. Why invest in something you are not sure is going to work if whatever it is you are currently investing in just kind of works? Doesn't work for everybody, but does effectively work for you. So why change the game? Even if the game is very unfair. Although this does differ depending on circumstance. My own personal view, as a quick speed this along, as I will start to ramble in a minute, is, is I have my core ideal beliefs. I have my ideal state of being. However, I can still accept outside information. Well, a pure idealist is like an island in the ocean, bending the water around it to the best of its ability. My belief, on the other hand, is like a oared ship with sails, or just a ship with sails in general. Well, I still am directed to a degree by the winds and currents. I still have options. I can travel, albeit slower, perpendicular, which allows me to get to places that the current and the winds don't happen to favor. I have options. As well, my core beliefs stand strong as a guiding force, I do not let them cloud my sense of reality. If the current circumstances, the, the way things are, are not according to the way things I feel they are meant to be, I don't simply reject the way things are. My perspectives particularly states that things are as they are. However, they may not necessarily meant to be. However, I should probably explain that a little bit better. What essentially I mean by that is, well, my beliefs are driven by a core set of values, my ideals, I am willing to accept outside information and, if necessary, change those ideals. If those ideals become incompatible with the reality of the situation. However, those core ideals still guide my point of view. So, unlike a list, which is sort of like, in this particular set of circumstances, like a rowboat in the middle of the ocean with no oars, an idealist is like an island, I'm a sailing ship that effectively has its sails and is oared, which is absolutely fantastic. So, alrighty then, before I begin rambling on even further, I'd like to thank everyone who's made it this far. I appreciate all my subscribers. Thank you all for, well, subscribing and watching my content. If you enjoy, please like, share, and subscribe. This is the start of a new series for me where I'll attempt to better explain as things go along. Although, this is fairly interesting topic for myself. I do plan to continue the series with perspectives onto a series of other videos. Fantastic! Like, share, and subscribe. Check the link below to my subscribe star account, which is under DSR for Wolf and Pack, which is also what my my BitChute account is under, DSR for Wolf and Pack. This video will be uploaded to both it and YouTube, and under YouTube, I'm simply DSR. Thank you for your time. See everyone around.